Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. The famous cop is in good voice as always. It is one of the most recognisable monuments of the English game. So what we've been told, this is how it looks, it's 4-3-3. Uh, well, a system promoted by the rise of total football, Peter. The wider players in the front three are, are key operators in how it all works on and off the ball. They have to provide for the central striker, of course, and protect their fullbacks, so they'll get few breathers. If these two don't make a good impression, there are quite good replacements on the bench. So it's down to business here. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I'm going to pick João Moutinho. I call him the ferret because he can slip into places and cause trouble before opponents can react. Loves to get between the lines and, and then get his head up. A real creative force. Yeah, I'm inclined to agree. João Moutinho. Alexander-Arnold. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Lobs it in gently. Origi, and he's onside. And the finish! And the shoots! He's done very well to get to that. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Wrestled off the ball. Jota. Gomez battles to win it back. Tries lifting it over. Aimed long and direct. And now the breakaway. Wolverhampton have it back and they can go again. Over to the left. He's got away. Raul. Great ball and now the shot. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. And out to safety. And it's Alexander Arnold. Alexander Arnold. He's a clever pass. Clearance and very necessary. Raul. Here it comes. Got offside that time. Raul Jimenez only needed to check his run slightly and he was in the clear. Slade Chamberlain, Alexander-Arnold, he's left his man. A really good feat. It's gone a long way up and away. Now it's Origi. Money! Just too much, fractions. 
Mane probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Jota plays it out to the flank. It's roll! Saved only by poor finishing. All he'll be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. and go again Rui Patricio sends that a long way João Moutinho floats one over Jota showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball but couldn't quite sort it out and it's Origi Mane Van Dijk Chip through, Alexander-Arnold looking to run onto it. That'll be a throw-in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Jimenez has been fouled. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. Peter, we can only applaud that quality of tackle in the circumstances. It was probably goal-saving. Wolverhampton get it back again. Tries to get it forward quickly. Dinks one in. Jota with a definite foul there. Gets it back. Michel Moutinho. All the way back and they start again. Keeper's got good distance on that. Mane played out to the right. Rui Patricio gets it upfield. Milner is desperate. He's had a go! That really should have hit the net. Liverpool know they can rely on the counter and they've just expressed a warning. He's through. Oh, good ball. Raul. Castro's delivery. And he just whacks it away. That intervention was very necessary. And we've reached half time. So another team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. So we reached the halfway point. Liverpool ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Liverpool head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither team any further forward than they were when they started out. There's the start of the second half. Liverpool 
playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half despite this scoreline. Converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Turns and goes back. And it's Alexander Arnold. Sweeps it out of harm's way. Out for a throw. Forward it goes. Out wide to the right. Oxlade Chamberlain. Milner. Proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Gomez. Matic. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Mane going through. Shoots! Well, when one or two others were maybe a tad slow at restarting this game, then up steps a big character who was simply switched on and bright, and he sparked another advantage for his team at an important stage. It augurs well. Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Liverpool take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. And it's Castro. Raul. Bennett. Everything they would have spoken about in that dressing room during the break has a greater chance of happening, thanks to the early goal. It's the perfect platform now to go on and, and try to win it. Now it's Castro. Raul, now it's Castro. Gomez boots it to safety. Mane. Gomez goes looking. Milner. Mohamed Salah. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. And he's there to hoof it away. Chamberlain tries to stroke it through. Matic. More than happy to take the muscular approach. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Milner. It's broken loose. Gets good distance on it. Gomez. Now it's Mane. Tries to dink it in. Plenty of appeals, but the referee is not interested. And it's Raul. Adama Traore. Beautifully done. Deflected behind for a corner kick. They've played it short. Gets up to head it! Oh, just couldn't turn it in.
Well, plenty of moving targets to pick out in the box. Obviously increases your chances of the ball being met like that by someone. Moutinho, Jota, Liverpool have made a great start to the second half and the score is 1-0, Ruben Neves spreads it towards the left, fires it in low, Liverpool are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Well, for me, massive lead. This could fall anywhere. Adama Traore drills one in. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Looking for space out wide. Nice one too. And it's Milner. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Raul. Bennett. Aimed long and direct. Hit long and direct. This is promising. Wolverhampton need to give it everything they have, kitchen sink included. Now it's Origi. Now it's Mane. He's got away. Hits one! And that would have been some goal. Mane cannot be a happy chappy, and you can understand why. The run was stoic, and it should have been heroic. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Origi hits it! That's a bad place to challenge. What's he giving? Well, the referee's decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Been leave it clear, and he's cut it out. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. So we've reached the end of our coverage for today. Many thanks to Jim Beglin alongside me, and we'll both see you next time.